Hello. I would just like to talk to you about uh, how we compute grades because you're probably wondering and I'm sure because you're a freshman, you are not yet sure why you feel like you have really good grades or you got really good scores during the activities or the quizzes, but you have a very bad grade or you have a grade that's lower than your expectation. So I'm going to walk you through how we go over the grades. Before we start, I would just like to reiterate or just remind you that here in UB, the cut of score for passing is 70%. What does that mean? It means that if you have an exam that is worth 100 points and you got 70 over 100, it means that your grade is 75. So you just you just barely pass the you just barely pass the exam or the test. However, if you got 68, for example, over 100, it means that you're already failing. So if you want a line of nine, for example, if you want, if you're planning to graduate with honors if, or if you want to enter the dean's list, the dean's list is 87 uh average. So you need to have make sure that you get at least 87% of all of the scores for all of your output, okay? So I'm going to walk you through the things that um um how 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 you can how you can work on this for for the rest of your college life as long as you are here in the University of Baguio. So on one side of this of my screen, you can see in here our class record in Stella, and then you can see here our um a projected score sheet for a particular student, for example, in my major subject. So I am teaching a major subject right now where I gave uh, three quizzes and each quiz is worth um, 30, 30, and 30. And then I gave three projects. And for the projects, I gave them 40 points, 40, and 50. So that's over 220 points. And then I'm going to show to you um, a barely passing activity. So, <clears throat> or a, a barely passing score. So I'm going to be putting in here or inputting in here first the the score, the perfect score. So that's over 30. And then this is over 40. And then this is over 40. Sorry, you can hear my dog on the background. And then the, this is 30. And then the last project is 50. And the examination is supposed to be, well, there was no exam in here, but the exam, let's say, for example, just for the sake of argumentation that the exam is worth 100 points. So I'm going to pull this down. I'm going to add another line in here just so I can. I can show to you how we get to compute it. Okay, so for example, the examination is over 100. So 70% of that is, of course, 70 and 85% of that is 85. Okay, so um, say for instance that, say for instance that these are the, <clears throat> these are the total scores or these are the, the points for that. Okay, um, wait a minute, we're go. let's just... Let's just compute that with the sum. So you can see in here that the student got three and that the activities are all over 320. So this is 320, you can see there. And then this is the same, it's 320. Okay, so those are the activities in, let's say, Canvas or Google Classroom. So um, just for argument's sake, let's use a non-existent student named Rachel de los Santos. So I, for example, um, her aim is only to get the passing score. So she wants to get 70% for everything, okay? So this is still quite high if you think about it, right? Because 21 over 30, that's quite good, right? 28 over 40, 28 over 40, the exam is 70 over 100. So if you're going to transfer all of those scores in here, you can see there 21, 28, 28. I'm just copying from my right to my left. 21, 21, then 35, and then 70. Sorry. So you can see in there that her grade is just 75. Do you get that? So if you are only getting 70% of the total score for that particular activity, you're only actually getting 75 grade. Therefore, if you want to go to, for example, um, if you want to get to the dean's list or if you want to graduate cum laude and cum laude is 90, you need to make sure that you get 90% of all of the activities, right? So Let's compare, for example, if there's another student, for example, Santos Roland. And Santos, for example, is aiming for 85% only. So he got 26, he got 34, 34, 26, 42, and 85. So it's the same from my right to my left. And the exam, sorry, 26, did they copy that right? 34, 34, 26, 26, and then 42. And then the examination, he got 85. His grade is 87. So he got 85% of the scores and then his grade is 87. This will bring him to the dean's list. So if you're 
wondering um what is the what's the right score or what's the minimum base score that I need to have if I want to enter the dean's list or if I want to graduate with honors, which is honorable mention in the University of Baguio, then you need to make sure that you get at least 85% of all of the activities, okay? So because we are in a point system in UB, and it's quite obvious here already that the standards in UB are quite high, you can see in here that one point makes the difference. So the point here is that, for example, if um, Roland, for example, um, studied a little a little better and then he got two points or I, I adjusted the grade and I gave that um, the student an additional score 85 becomes 87 so you can see that the 87 became 88 just just two for two points so two points can mean the whole the whole idea or the whole the, the whole grade so it's really important to be very careful with the points that you're making okay so for example the difference naman is that if you are passing kasi it's easier for you to to, if it's easier for you to it's easier for you to to go higher by adding points so for example if i if i give both of the students plus 5 i want to show you this but as you can see the first one got 75 the, the second one got 87 if i give them plus 5 for both so 70 becomes 75 the 70 the 75 grade becomes 76 but if i give plus 5 to the 85 so it becomes 90 it becomes 89. So there is a change, really. So the higher your grade is, the better opportunity you will go higher if the teacher will be adjusting. Now, I sent you a message last time telling you that I am adjusting your score. Okay, so how did you adjust the score, sir? So this is what I did. Instead of, for example, the examination is over 100, the teacher will adjust by turning it to over 95. You look at, the, look at, now, look at it now. So as you can see, the 75 still remained. But the 88, but the grade a while ago, which was 87, became 88. So that's what you call adjustment. So um, in the examination, for example, that we've had um probably um your 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 the examination was over was over 55. I adjusted that by turning it to over 45 or 47, depending on the on the level of difficulty. And it's of course it's going to shift the grade. So as you can see here in our sample discussion. It's very important that you are very worried about grades, okay, about your points. So one point, two points, three points may mean the difference. Sometimes just one point will not change anything. For example, if I change 85 to 86, it can change. But if I add 2 to 70, it didn't change. So there are times when it will change. There are times when it will not. But it's worth the shot, okay? So let's just be very careful about that. I hope this answers your queries or your issues about your grades. And I'll see you in class. Bye.